morning. Hope you're having a lovely day. We're having a nice day here. That's a little chilly though. So, I have a bit of a surprise. I got a call and a text message the other day from a nearby neighbor who was asking if we could maybe help them out. There was a birthday coming up and they wanted us to watch something for them. And maybe you're figuring it out by the noise in the background and by the camera moving. I'm not in here alone. <laughs> they asked us to watch some little piglets, their birthday present. Let me show them to you. I'm sitting out here and I'm watching these little piglets. I'm feeding them right now. These piglets are really, really special. They're a special breed from New Zealand called Cooney Cooney. And in the 1980s, they almost went extinct. There was less than 50 of them left in the world. But they were brought back by some conservationists in New Zealand and another conservation group here in the UK, which happened after I think the New Zealand group. But these are Cooney Cooneys. They get to be about 100 to 200 pounds. They don't get really large, but they're really, really friendly. There's a couple of great things about Cooney Coonies. Not only are they really friendly, and they're very sociable. So I'll give you a couple of key points. I used to raise pigs. I raised, Berks I raised uh, Berkshires and Yorkshires back in the States when I had my farm there. So when I was asked to watch these little guys, it really was a treat for me because I'm familiar with pigs. I know how they operate. And I was glad to see that two of them were delivered because you never want to keep a pig alone. They're social creatures, they're social animals, and they like to have a buddy or a pal. So you would have a wonderful time trying to keep two in a pen. If you tried to keep one in a pen, they're going to break out just about every day. So that's one key thing. But there are a lot of misconceptions that people have about pigs. And one is that they're dirty and they're filthy. And when I raised pigs, I knew that was absolutely not true. It depends on how you maintain them and how you keep them. I followed a woodland method where I fenced in a couple acres and I allowed them to roam freely and had areas where they went to the restroom, they had areas where they would feed and had areas where they would sleep. And if they were given the proper space and they were fed a balanced diet, which of grains and things of that sort, you know, you don't feed pigs slop. That's also another misconception. As you just saw here, I put down some grain uh, pellet feed for them, which is balanced for pig nutrition. That's how you feed pigs nowadays. The days of slop are in the past. Other misconceptions are that pigs spend all their time in mud and that they're filthy. Well, a key thing is that pigs don't have sweat glands, so they kind of use the mud to help themselves cool off in the summertime in the heat. You don't have to have mud, but you definitely have to always have water available for a pig, especially in the summertime. They will overheat, so they love it when you can give them a nice muddy place where they could go and wallow into. But again, if you didn't have sweat glands, you'd have a hard time trying to relieve heat from your body. That's what sweat does. It removes heat from the body. And so without sweat glands, they use that as a means to remove heat. It also allows them to coat themselves in the mud, which keeps the bugs and insects from biting them and causing problems from them, for them as well. Another misconception that people have is that if you buy a small pig, it's going to stay a small pig. Teacup pigs, I've heard them called. Really, they don't exist. I think the smallest pigs in the world are still going to get up to be about 50 pounds. These Cooney Coonies are really small. They're only going to get up to about 100, maybe 200 pounds. But pigs grow really fast. They start out really tiny, maybe even a, a, only a couple pounds. And by six months, they go from uh, about 30 to 40 pounds up to about 200 pounds or 250 pounds, especially Yorkshires and Berkshires, which are which I raised. So the Yorkshires can go from about 30 pounds in the spring to about 200 pounds by the fall. Same pig, you can just see them grow. They grow tremendously fast. They love to eat and uh, <laughs> they produce good bacon. Now these little guys, because they're somewhat endangered, they weren't bought and purchased for bacon. These are purchased to be pets. And Cooney Coonies actually make really nice pets because they're so docile and so friendly and they don't get to be excessively large. They're wonderfully cute and they're just great to have around the farm if you're gonna have them. Again, I'm just watching these little guys for a couple weeks. The kids don't know that they're here yet, so I'm gonna get the kids out here so they can take a look at them and they can see them as well. We're only gonna have them for a couple weeks. We're gonna watch them, uh, take care of them, and then they're gonna go to where they should be, their final home, where they're gonna be a wonderful birthday present. Now, Cooney Cooney, have some very distinctive features. You'll notice these have a wiry hair texture. They grow a lot of hair on them. Uh, these are tricolored. They come in black, they come in white, and they also come in tricolored, which is going to be black, white, with a little bit of brown. But they're very hairy. Uh, the name uh, Kuni Kuni actually comes from New Zealand, from 
the Mori people, and I think the name means round and fat. And if you look at these little guys, you can see how they're nice, round, little fat things. So let's go get the kids and see how they respond to having pigs on the farm. How old are they? I would say that they're about six to eight weeks old, maybe eight to twelve weeks old. So they're about two months old, two to three months old at the most. They're a special breed from New Zealand called Coney Coney. They grow really small, slow. They're not going to get as big as some other pigs like the ones we had at the house. These won't get that big. They are Yeah, they are baby pigs. They're piglets. Uh, where the daddy and the mommy? The daddy and the mommy are back at the farm where these were born. So these pigs come from New Zealand. Called Kuni Kuni. Can you say it? Kuni Kuni. Kuni Kuni. Kuni Kuni. It's already cold. Oh, so they don't mostly just do it in the summertime. I can't. It's a pig. It's a pig. It's a pig. <laughs> oh no! Ah! Yeah. Oh, All right, so that's been another farm update. These are the Cooney Coonies. Uh, we're just excited to have them. Uh, hey guys, if you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll try to keep you updated on the farm as things continue to come and go. Lambing season is coming up right around the corner, so hopefully we have some lambs to show you as well. But until the next time, take care.